Hello, today I will show you how to use Source Connect to host a very high quality audio uh, when you're meeting with students. We all know how we suffer from um, having really bad sounds. That's when there's our students playing to um, through like a regular mic and it goes over Zoom or Skype and, and the quality is just bad. So there is a work workaround, it's very good. It's called Source Connect. And as a host, as a teacher, you have to create an account. So first of all, it works only on Google Chrome. So go ahead to your browser and download Google Chrome. Once you have downloaded Google Chrome, you can uh, use it and you go to the website called source-elements.com. So here you have to create an account. So you can uh, try to sign in. and it will um, ask you and if you don't have one you can create so go ahead and do that and after you come back you can uh, sign in to your account and now now you're connected so uh, there are some uh, things here that are relevant to our time um, but um, what what is best for our current um, situation is to use source connect now it's here in application source connect now you can also find it if you go to um i think it was uh, somewhere so it's source connect now you click on it it takes you to a website so here you have to sign in again with your source elements and this is my account, so we're, we're signed in right now. And what you need to do is just simply start a connection, choose your quality. So if you are using like stereo mics or mono mic uh, or just computer mics so whatever you're, if you're using external mics, probably stereo is better, but it also takes more bandwidth. If you wanna do um, a faster connection, more reliable, if your internet is not very good, you can choose uh, mono or smaller speeds on the lower end of uh, stereo. So uh, let's choose mono right now for best and you can say how many users you want uh, at the same time. So that's for lessons, so usually one. Uh, it does, I, I found out it's not working very well with groups because uh, everyone has to use headphones and it's a little bit of feedback. So here you're creating a guest pass. So create uh, any kind of phrase or numbers that you want to pass on to students. Uh, that will be a password to enter your uh, room and you connect. So it goes to this website and it says starting up and now it's connected. So um, this bar here shows you that you are talking. I'm talking and, and it's registering it. This is my um, interface. You can use it at default. You can choose your internal microphone, whatever microphone you have connected to the computer. This is the output, same thing. Uh, you can record here, but it's only uh, letting you record your side of the conversation. So this is not very uh, helpful. Um, push to talk that means that you have to like click or or or, or press shift to uh, talk now it's open now it's closed but of course when we have our instruments with us uh, we don't really want to be clicking all the time back and forth so we don't have to use that this is a mute button and then you can unmute yourself so this is all working fine now you have to invite your student so uh, this is this is the website that I use to invite my students. You can copy that to clipboard and remember to sh to give them the password uh, that you created before. I found out that if you change it here, it doesn't really um, give you the right link anymore. So don't change it. Just copy it from here. Copy the website, or you can send them an email. Uh, by sending an email, this link will change. So if you want to have it as is, uh, don't send an email, just send a link from the clipboard. So once you uh, do that, so let's copy that, close here. 
and let's say your student is entering so their view would be something like that uh, they see that they're entering my room uh, I enter my password that I provided uh, them oh sorry let's say they need to enter their name let's say Paul and then this is my password and um, I choose uh, th that's now the student signing in so they choose their quality uh, probably this is mono it's best for like a computer microphone that's just uh, built in and then they connect so once you're connecting it gets your notification so you're co connected and I can turn off uh, so I don't get the feedback right now so th this is how uh, how it pretty much looks once you do that then you go to your platform like zoom or skype and uh, you mute your microphone because you don't want to have two competing audio sources going on at the same time so just go to your zoom meeting uh, with the students that you are on now and mute your microphones that's pretty much it it's pretty simple audio quality is great and um, it's free so very very useful tool all right thanks everyone for watching